Hi, Stephanie. I could probably just send this in a ticket, but I just want to give you a quick uh, heads up on a couple things you can do. In the um, site, styles, and miscellaneous folder, we have the responsive.css, and this is what controls what happens in mobile view. And you can add and delete and do all sorts of things here. So basically, when you scroll down here, um, at this point here, anything after line 23 here, it says max 643, you can put whatever special styles you want in here. And as you can see here, there's a lot of stuff going on because we've restyled a lot of the of the template to work better or not work, to be responsive for mobile devices. And we've also styled a lot of it, lot of it so that some of the heavier bells and whistles um, don't load in. So we load a static image as opposed to the Nebula slider, so that way it loads quickly. Uh, things like that. But um, I'll send you a video. But uh, just so you know, you'll probably find a lot of the information already in here, like the box styles, column styles. Um, like we've changed the font sizes in here. And you can even go further, like the heading styles and things like that. You just have to, it depends on, we haven't put everything in here because it would get to be quite a big uh, thing. But there's your, your H3s. That's your most common um, styles right there. Obviously, my video window is a little bit small, but if you just sort of have a little bit of a look through here, you may find what you're looking for already. And I've tried to, you know, comment the things in here as best I could um, for, you know, for when you're looking through here. But um, uh, hidden components and stuff like that, um, shadows, the things we've removed, so it uh, has less processing intensity on a mobile screen. Anyways, I'll s just want to give you a heads up with that. Uh, and I'll send you a link to the video.